Avengers Endgame clocks in at 183 minutes, or 3 hours and 3 minutes. If you're like most hardcore Marvel fans, you plan to sit through the credits to see the final button scene. If you're not careful about what you eat and drink during the long movie, you might have to leave the theater to use the restroom, either just before Stan Lee's reportedly last cameo, or the button scene after the credits. If your bladder is ready to burst, you might find it uncomfortable peeing for 15 minutes. Here are three tips to help get your bladder through the end of Avengers Endgame. My name is C.D. Rymer and welcome to my channel. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and click on the notification bell to see more videos like this. If you just want the three tips, you can jump to this time code in the video. Otherwise, I have an epic bladder story to tell you. The third movie of Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, came out in theaters on December 17, 2003. Selected theaters around the United States were showing the extended versions of the first two movies, The Fellowship of the Ring and Two Towers, in the two weeks before the new movie. Each extended movie was over three hours long. A co-worker and I drove up from Silicon Valley to San Francisco after work on a Friday night to watch the first movie at the AMC Metron Theater. We each got a large Coke and a bucket of popcorn. We sat spellbound through the Fellowship of the Rain, drinking our coats and munching our popcorn. When the theater lights came on, we ran to the men's restroom, stood in line with our aching bladders, and wondered when the peeing will ever stop once we started. I thought pissing a kidney stone with a full bladder of blood, pus, and urine for five minutes was bad enough in 1995. Pissing a full bladder of urine for 15 minutes was much, much worse. You would think that we'd learn our lessons after watching The Fellowship of the Ring. Oh, hell no. We did the same thing the following Friday night for The Two Towers. Large Coke, bucket of popcorn, and a never-ending piss. No doubt our bladders suffer permanent scarring from watching those two extended movies. As for the non-extended version of The Return of the King, which clocked in at 200 minutes or 3 hours and 20 minutes, I followed these three tips to avoid bursting my bladder. You want to empty your bladder before the movie. Not once, but twice. I recommend peeing before you leave home and peeing after you arrive at the movie theater. If you are young and stupid, you may skip this tip and hope for the best. If you are slightly older and less stupider, you can go once and hope for the best. If you are much older and more wiser, going twice isn't really an option. I recently made a mistake of not going to the restroom prior to seeing Captain Marvel and missed the second bedroom scene because I was in the restroom. So I saw Captain Marvel a second time to see the second button scene and confirmed my theory that Brie Larson's character was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. If you have not seen that video, the link can be found in the card above or the description below. Be careful about what you eat and drink during the movie. I avoid eating at the movie theater because concession food is expensive and unhealthy. I find it cheaper and healthier to eat something light at home. Remember to pee before you leave if you eat at home. If you do buy concession food, avoid the large bucket of popcorn and large soda combo. Salt, sugar, and fat its a magic combination that make you eat and drink more than what you should. If you find yourself eating half the popcorn and drinking half the soda during the trailers, you really need to ditch the popcorn. If you cannot go through a three hour movie without drinking something, I strongly suggest a bottle of water. If paying $7 for a bottle of water is too much for you, get a large cup filled with ice and fill that with soda. Or get an icy. For half the movie you are drinking soda and the other half melted ice water. Avoid alcoholic beverages altogether if your theater has a bar. Alcohol will cause your kidney to produce more urine and fill up your bladder. 
Avoid eating and drinking all at once by taking small bites and sips throughout the movie. Consider what format the movie is in, what kind of seating is available, and where to sit in the theater. Dolby has power recliner seats that can take the pressure off of your bladder with your feet up. IMAX seats are comfortable, but you have to position yourself in such a way to avoid putting pressure on your bladder. Regular seating will put pressure on your bladder when sitting upright for an extended period of time. If you have a hair triggered bladder, sitting near the exit or on the aisle might be a good idea. If you can wait until the movie is over and the house lights are back on, the lines to the restroom are much shorter. Unless you are sitting with a hardcore group of Marvel fans. I saw Captain Marvel twice a week apart. And 90% of the audience for each shown stayed for the two button scenes. I'm used to seeing a half dozen to two dozen people stick around for the button scenes. Never a nearly full theater. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to watch Avengers Endgame in the theater or when it becomes available for home viewing. Links to the third party websites mentioned in this video can be found in the related article on my website at www.cdrimer.com. Thank you for watching.